Well, it's just about 5.30 in the morning on March 8th, 2021. Uh, we're in bed. We're going back to bed, actually. Got up for about an hour or so because I was hungry. Did some gaming. Watched some uh, uh, YouTube. That's the part of the YouTube stroll. Uh, I went, went by uh, uh, Yowie Vlogs and then It's Our Life. And I'm feeling fatigued again. And so it's time to go back to bed to let my body rest. I'm moving from uh, one form of meditation. The weekend was the prayer and uh, sleep deprivation meditation. Now I'm moving back into another uh, uh, type of meditation, and that's uh, extreme conditioning, where the body is under on terms of the environment. Uh, an extreme type of condition where it just literally fatigues the body. So... Uh, I'm hoping to sort of uh, shorten the, uh, the schedule of recovery uh, and make sure that the schedule that's done, uh, the, sort of the productivity, is uh, uh, continuous. I do seem to be doing week, week over week, I do seem to be doing better. So that's a yay for that. And but it's always it's always a uh, a chore to keep doing this. It's not it's a chore because it, it is work. Uh, this is part of the path. It's part of being on the road, where you're not at a sort of a rest stop or a major point of interest where you can sort of take time off and spend time looking around. And you know, uh, in other words, uh, you're on the road. You're literally on the road. You're traveling to the next major point. And as I said, typically uh, I want to do this on a weekly basis. Before this was occurring on a monthly basis, and before that it was uh, every three months. So uh, it has been a significant improvement. <clears throat> so I'll leave that here for now and uh, uh, see you in a couple hours when I get up. Well, with... Um Mm. The media, the, the the media room, uh, research desk, where I am now as a fully functional office, fully, oh, sorry, excuse me, fully functional research desk. We can do package openings here. That's what we've been doing lately. So we will continue with our package openings. This is the first. So let's see what's uh, in here. Ugh. Oh, good. These are the OTG connectors for doing. Um, this is for uh, connecting things like hard drives and other devices. Uh, to your phone, uh, it turns the uh, USB-C port into a proper OTG uh, port, so it functions as uh, you know. It extends the the system out, so it actually behaves as a device rather than just a phone. It gives you increased capa uh, capability. So let's open this next one now. Here's the next one. It's a black package. We want to see what that is. Okay, we've got our initial opening. And these are shorts. So, uh, everything's coming in. This was a test package. I always order a test package to see how things are. Uh, once I know how they are, then, uh, we, uh, typically go from there. So, this is it. This is the package opening. Well, once again, we're vlogging in bed. That's because it's about 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I think it's around the 10th or 11th. And I'm expecting later on today a delivery from, uh, my grocery store. I did the shop. I did shop, food shopping last night. So I always give it about uh, 24 hours for it to come in. 
Uh, so, and it's going to be the usual <laughs> milk, eggs, cheese. I have all the spices I need right now, so there's no particular issue in that. Uh, although most of the stores have opened up in York Region, have opened back up again, so there is no real issue in terms of uh, going out and shopping. But uh, what happens is the uh, the ordering by the delivery allows me to save uh, on the impulse buy on the aisles, and it actually saves it saves me a lot of money. So it, it's it's I think it's something that's excellent. Uh, of course, it helps when you save money because you can use that money to spend on other th on other things. Uh, so that's where that's going. And uh, I'm kind of this is it's Wednesday, so today is my day off. This is where I usually have a difficult time uh, vlogging uh, because you don't necessarily know what to say, what to do, particularly when the day is off. Uh, you there. The dreams are interesting. The dreams, uh, uh, I guess if you want to call this a dream journal, this is my eyes are still closing because uh, my body is in a, set, in a state that uh, it wants to be asleep. But ironically enough, uh, it's in the same state that it wants to be awake as well. And you sort of, as you take your time off, uh, you wonder kind of what's next. This is It's a feeling that you have when you're on the road. Uh, you're not in a place that is permanent or, 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 or fixed. My arm is my arm is itchy. <laughs> so, uh, and that realization sort of hits home. Uh, it's also where you look up and down when you shouldn't be looking up and down because you're high up. And take the assessment of where you are on the road, and the road is still infinitely long. And this is where you start feeling the um, the reality that you're just simply plodding along, and that as much effort as you've put into things, you re you really haven't moved uh, that much. And this is where all the uh, sort of the emotions come in. This is where a lot of the sort of the elementary school the 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 tween emotions come in, the nerve excitement, and you, you're you're excited to move forward a little bit, but at the same time, because you're back on the road again, but at the same time, there's a lot of uh, anticipation in terms of the, the emotions uh, of where things are going, what you're leaving behind, and uh, different things like that, and, and, and this becomes an issue. It's it, it's and it plays itself in terms of the how the emotions are. And it plays itself out within the dreams. So the dreams will reflect this sort of sense of, okay, I'm on the road again on to the next major destination. But you don't know where that next, you don't know where the next major destination is. You don't know when you're going to get there. You just know that you're back on the road again. And <clears throat> this is where it comes, the, again, once again, an IRA comes in, is when you're stuck at a, stuck at a station, you're stuck at a point. You don't know when you're going to get back on the road again. You you realize you're at a point, but then you're stuck at that point at some point in time. And you begin to feel the emotions of being stuck at a particular point, not knowing when you're going to be back on the road again. Uh, but once you're on the road again, you, can't start, you start missing what you left behind in terms of the fixed point. And once again, you have the intrepidation, the... the, the Anxiety of not necessarily knowing where you're actually going, or what the, or what the next point is going to be. You know there is going to be a next point, but what that's going to be is uh, kind of unknown. And you sort of move along in, uh, 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 on that path with these sort of thoughts in mind, uh, not necessarily sort of dwelling on one thing or the other. But again, I think this is where the cartoons come into play. Is where it's. Uh, uh, you, you you can sit down and just sort of on on your pilot's chair, your sort of uh, your long distance vehicle. And this is what I view my place as in many ways, where I'm sitting as my long distance vehicle. This is another vehicle. This is like my, my RV. I'm in my uh, my sleeping space, and uh, this is where I go off into the uh, next realm and sort of explore realm, explore explore around there. So 
I have uh, the uh, the research desks uh, sort of functioning uh, where the media room is. I have it where the the music studio is, and now I have the bed. This is uh, another studio, another research desk where things can get done. And, of course, you can vlog from here as well. And this is sort of a, a new addition because I found a camera app that gives you a light uh, using your uh, the screen of the um, of the of the uh, of the smart device. Uh, it's not necessarily a smart device; I just call it a device, anyways. It's like a it's a mini. Basically, most smart devices, if you op, if you put on the right apps, become becomes uh, essentially a laptop, and it's through this laptop that you can uh, get things done. Uh, much in many ways, much like a an office. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna leave this here for now, and uh, we're getting close to the end point in terms of uh, filling the card up. I do have to empty it out, so where that ends up uh, is kind of in, is kind of anybody's guess. So I'll see you in a couple hours uh, when I get up again. There's the bus. Well, now that uh, we're ready to record, we're ready to all, everything's all set. It is uh, 22 hours and 27 minutes into the day of Thursday, March 12th, uh, 2021. I had to think about that. And we're starting off with a package opening, but we're starting off in the kitchen, uh, because this is where the stuff comes in the kitchen. Uh, this is... For the kitchen itself, so why not open it here? So I'll just get the box open here. It's from Amazon. Amazon is what supplies me with a large chunk of my uh, bulk food orders. Uh, some immediate tool needs or general purpose items. So let's open up our box. Some uh, our box from. Uh, Amazon and I know what's in it because it tells you it tells you on the notification what's in it. Okay. I was out of duct tape, so I got another roll of duct tape. I can put that back in the box, so I'll take care of that later. I got uh, electrical connectors. These are taps, and of course, the monthly supply of uh, candy. So that's what came in. That's our uh, opening for now. And uh, see, Wednesdays and Thursdays are the kind of the day off. They're when uh, I slow down on th on things and. Uh, and it's not always that exciting. And you know, candy from um, uh, our family nest. Uh, I was talking about as the as the children get older and and what happens next. You know, what do you do when there's no kids in the house? Because uh, the kids are always provide. They are they by themselves. Kids are entertaining. So when there's no kids, what what is next? And what's next is the conversation. And the vlog can be a conversation. It just depends on where you are, what uh, different backgrounds you have, uh, what you're doing. That's what it is. It's a conversation. It's a look into a person's life and a person, how a person lives, uh, what they think about, uh, different things like that. That's the na that's the nature of the vlogs when there's no children in it. No, it's not that kids can't have a conversation. You can have a conversation with kids. More often than not, some of the things they say, particularly how they have a conversation makes it quite interesting and this is something that you know carly could pick up on is rather than just doing vlogs about what you have and so this is cute that's cute and so on and so forth it can be done while you're having a conversation it could be done you know candy and, and, and car because they do have a good relationship they can have a conversation and that would be the vlog or, or part of the vlog uh depending on how you know 
you want to frame it, how you want to film it, how you want to present it, how you want to edit it. <laughs> These are all the various different things that goes into uh, thinking about uh, what you're going to what you're going to do for a vlog. And for me, uh, uh, my online shopping is part of my of my regular routine. I don't do shopping anywhere else except for online. Now I got this this sweatshirt, and I got several of them, and there's more on the way. I got them for about ten dollars each, and uh, they're a hoodie, and they've got the pocket through it. And see, my nose runs on most almost on a continuous basis, so I have to have a place for Kleenex, and it's got a pocket all the way through for Kleenex or for, or or for napkins for when I need need to sort of I'm eating on the couch and uh, need to wipe my hands. The the pockets have it goes all the way through, so I can put I can put uh, napkins on either side and have depending on whether I'm using my left hand or right hand, and a napkin will be uh, readily uh, available, it'll be accessible uh, to wipe my hands on. And then when the napkin gets dirty enough, you, you toss it out and put in some more. And uh, that's why I find these shirts kind of handy. And uh, because I've been doing extreme conditioning, uh, keeping my place colder, it's just now warming up. It's uh, uh, Today was about 70 degrees inside, so about 47 degrees outside. Uh, but before then, uh, my place typically during the winter is around 60 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's kind of cool for most people. Uh, most people like it around 68, 70. That's uh, typically room temperature. Um, but I like it colder. And it's part of my extreme conditioning to get used to it. And part of it is wearing uh, warmer clothes. And these sweaters, even though they're $10, are warmer than anything else I've ever had. So... Uh, it's worth the price, it's worth the cost. And it's, when I take about $10, and that includes tax and shipping. So uh, I'm happy with my pur purchases. I'm happy with the way things are online. And I said, shopping, though, I've even doing my food shopping, saves me enough money that I get uh, now I have uh, enough room in my budget left over for uh, treats like uh, like this. And this will, la this will last me about a month, month and a half. So. I won't be ordering uh, any more candy until uh, basically April. That will be my next uh, purchase for, for candy. Uh, anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you when I see you again next. <laughs> Don't know when that is. Well, today is March 12th. My days were off yesterday. Yesterday, I thought it was the 12th yesterday, but it's the 12th today on uh, Friday. It is uh, just a little afternoon, and it's about, uh, ooh, I think 12, 17, so 12 hours and 17 minutes into the day. And we have a package opening, and I found the scissors. It just wasn't situated properly, and <laughs> it was standing up like this, like uh, vertically. So you could only see the top, and so you couldn't see the scissors. Scissors. <clears throat> Anyways, we have we have a package opening. Uh, this is it here. I'm not really too sure what this is, but we will certainly find out what, what it is shortly. Uh, today, uh, last few few days haven't been. I haven't, I don't think I've vlogged that much. I know I've vlogged in the kitchen. I'm going to start vlogging there more often. I set up, I set up a, a camera stand, uh, so I could, and a tripod, actually, a, a tripod, so. Uh, my speech is off. Fumbling with my words. See what this is. I think these are uh, okay. Something just fell. Here's a power cable, a cable with uh, for video out. Oh, excuse me. And this is a miniature 
It's a miniature camera. This is a 1080p. Oh, so that's good. I'm happy with that. That came in. I was wondering if that were co that were coming in, but uh, I thought it'd come in later, but not not particularly right now. So uh, I got two of them. So yay for that. I do have to sit down and go through them and sort of figure out they, uh, how they operate. Uh, but it is, uh, I think they should be wireless Wi-Fi. Let me just check and see what I dropped. I can't see what I dropped. I know I dropped something, but uh, what I actually dropped, I don't know. So, <laughs> that's that. Uh... When you look for something sometimes, you don't find it, and then later on you'll find it in places you never really expected. It just that you maybe have put something down, didn't remember where you put it down, and uh, you could you do that sometimes when you're in in a uh, fatigue state and your mind is kind of absent. You put something down, you don't really necessarily realize that you put something down, and when you go back looking for it again. Uh, The memories of where you put it come back, but it's all, all over the place. And it takes a while to find things, but uh, at some point in time you do find it, typically. <laughs> I say typically because they had to throw that in there, because sometimes you don't always find things. Sometimes uh, things, when, they, when you lose them, they're long gone. Even if they're lost in the house or where you wherever you are, uh, so you know, so pl places that you frequent. Uh, here it is. I knew something fell, but I couldn't figure out where where, where it went, and it didn't go on the floor. Uh, it was uh, down on the couch. Here we go. It is a somewhat of a uh, somewhat somewhat of a tripod. So let me go. Let's take a look at this. Here we go. This is it here device underneath there's room for screws and stuff like that and so it's got a bit of a pivot here as well so that's what that was so now I gotta figure, figure out how these cameras work and uh, then go from there alrighty that's it for uh, the package opening and I'll see you probably later on for uh, uh, probably in the kitchen as I uh, make myself something to eat later on today.